Connacht with Andy Friend on the show last week. I mean, what struck me about Friend was, I mean, the, the Kieran Keane blip. Like, there were real echoes of Pat Lamb and what he was saying. Yeah. He was, he was talking about, like, expansive rugby and entertainment and skill set and tempo. That was his big word. Tempo is Andy Friend's big word. And they've had a very positive pre-season. And it really did make the Kieran Keane era feel like a bit of a blip. And yeah. The Connacht identity now, Lamb's left a real legacy because you now think, well, that's what Connacht should be doing. Yeah. And it, it just seems so... It looked like it's only two years since they won it. They were coming in th- two years ago as champions. And yeah. I, eighth, the life was sucked out of it. the year us. after and six last year in Conference A. Yeah, and uh, with, I think seven wins in the whole season. Yeah. Which, uh, and three of them were home wins over interprovincial rivals. They beat all the other provinces at home last year, which I think is something you can tap into. Mm-hmm. They, lost six ga- or so they lost six games with a losing bonus point. So you'd immediately be looking at those fixtures going, well, we can turn those ones around anyway. That gets us up into, the, mm. into contention. What do you make but a friend? Were, I've only met him the once at that launch and he came across very, as very impressive. You can see from his social media presence, the, the way he appears to be engaging with fans, that he's certainly making all the right noises. The word from within the camp is that he's certainly been, you know, quite, you know, I think they were all ready to accept someone new. Uh, he's very much an antidote to the Kieran Keane style, which yeah. calling players out and, and all that stuff. And, Kieran Keane wasn't popular by, behind the scenes after a couple of weeks. It just didn't didn't work for whatever reason. So I think it's positive. They've got I think it's four of the first five games are at home. Mm. I mean you got to make that pay because Pat Lamb the year they won it that that season their first couple of games were the ones they built it on and suddenly they have momentum and they came through. Now that was the World Cup year. Mm. They made that count. It won't be quite as long before the internationals come back this time around. But with those home games, you would expect that they should be able to get it good head of steam up and they've brought in Kyle Godwin who's a, a wallaby they've got Horvitz the, the out half he's putting pressure on Jack Carty who appears to be responding mm. you just hope that there's there's a bit of they're able to generate a bit of momentum because it was just doom and gloom last season yeah. and they kind of fell off the radar a little bit and they kind of went back to the old the bad old days where they were so far off that no one was talking about them and yeah. you know it's, that's a real shame because it felt for one or two seasons there like, like well, it was real yeah. that Connacht were really part of the conversation 